So for the people at home, it's funny because we heard through the grapevine that, so you're here now, your board's out. We were planning on having you on the show to reveal your board to you. We were going to have a whole surprise. We were going to be like, oh, you're pro. We were thinking about how the hell do we get John Delo here? Like, it's going to be weird just to ask him to come on in and whatever, just sit in. We we're going to do this whole thing. Turns out the ad came out early. You were rifling through somebody's car or whatever. And the magazine, the Thrasher popped out landed on the ground and flipped open to your pro <laughs> ad. That's insane. I, yeah, I can elaborate a little bit more. Please, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to fill the studio out. I'm, no, um, I'm trying to fill the audience in with what we heard. So I uh, I was in town, or Justin, Pubert, um, Mark Suchu. I was with I was skating in LA with a handful of the Adidas guys, mm -hmm. and uh, we met up with Atiba, and we had just seen on Instagram maybe the day before like the cover okay and you know, the shanahan's cover and we were like i was like oh my name was on it real small i was like oh my interview's in there you know oh. so i was like oh cool you know excited to see the interview yeah, yeah i did some like drawings for it so i was like oh i'm like excited to see it in dope, print, you know? dope. and uh i didn't expect to see it anytime soon because usually the day it comes out like you see the cover but you don't see the mag itself nobody's posting just mm -hmm. contents yeah. Mm -hmm. right yeah and uh I, we, we met up with Atiba, Mark was trying this trick and, uh, Atiba pulls up to the spot and he's like, Oh, the, I just stopped by my house on the way here and I got the box of mags. Like, you know, like just casual. And I was like, Oh dude, I have an interview in there. You think I could get one? He's like, yeah, I got one for all you guys. So he, uh, he hands us all a mag and he even mentioned when he handed it to me, he's like, dude, that's so cool. I haven't had a chance to even look at it yet. And I was like, Oh dude, well now we're all going to look, you know, like <laughs> yeah. whatever. Oh. And, uh, I just remember I was holding a bunch of stuff like had a water bottle. Um, I don't know. I was just juggling a bunch of things in my hand. And uh, I was in front of everybody walking to the spot. And I dropped the mag. And uh, almost always, they Dwindle does like the back page for their ads. Gotcha. So uh, when I dropped it, it was like in such a way that the back stayed on the ground. And it flapped open and closed. Amazing. And okay. then I saw like just for a split second, like my face in my car. And I was like, what? I have an ad? Like, <laughs> that's not, like that's not in my interview. No, like, no, yeah. I didn't even get the chance to open it or anything. So I was just like, oh, what? And I picked it up. And when I opened it, it was like, I just started kind of shaking. I was like, oh, dude, whoa. And I was just like, everybody was like, oh, what? And I turned around and showed everybody. And Atiba felt terrible, dude. I like, it wasn't even, it was no one's fault. It, nobody's you know? fault. Yeah. Like, I mean, he dude, was like, what can oh, you do dude. with that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was crazy. But I mean. It, it was super funny, you know? It was just one of those things. I didn't know. I didn't want to tell Luis. I didn't want to. I didn't know what to do. I yeah, was like, do yeah. I just, I, I don't know what to do. And I told uh, my good friend David, who edited the video part and stuff. And then he ended up telling Luis. He's like, dude, he doesn't know how to tell you, but oh, kind of saw it. Right, right. So then Luis oh, called man. me. And we like sorted out like, oh, yeah, you know, this is like what, you know, whatever. They, I don't, I wouldn't have predicted that to happen. Yeah. I don't right. get the mag that early in any instance, especially if yeah. I'm in it or not in it, you know, it was just yeah, like right. crazy. What are the chances kind of situation? Yeah. But, uh, but that's a great story to tell. <laughs> Definitely. Like yeah. that, yeah. Everybody's got their turning pro story. Like, oh, I was at a premiere and this and that, or I went into a restaurant and this. no, I dropped the mag and it popped open to my pro ad. Yeah. Like that's cool. It's crazy. And sometimes it's not ideal. Sometimes you're with a Tiba too. Yeah. 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 That's epic, mm -hmm. dude. That's totally. really cool. I remember I shout, I was like, oh my God. And then everybody thought like something had happened. And like, you know, I kind of scared everybody for a second. <laughs> they thought we were getting kicked out or something. And I was like, no, dude. And I just, the only like real, I don't remember people's faces. I don't remember like even my own reaction. I just remember my hands. Like I couldn't keep my hands still. And they were like, hold it up for a photo. I'm like, dude, I'm going to rip it. Like I can't. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just because listen, how long, did, how long ago did you get on almost? From like that week. It was like one year. Exactly. Oh, one year. Wow. I mean, that's yeah, but you so were bad. like you've been killing it you were why. killing it and f f trying to find a home and yeah. then we all saw you skating so it's like yeah. it, it, we we love this dude Hell yeah, yeah. It's well deserved so man. it's such a trip it's like i yeah i don't know i just it's like the same i've just been skating like yeah. nothing's different you know what's uh everyone saying now we love to see it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't dude i've been I, there's something I always say. I, I always like when when people turn pro that I feel like should have been for a long time. I'm always like street justice. I'm always street saying justice. that. Oh, so a lot of people have been nice. saying that back to me. Oh, I'm cool. like, dude, yeah, yeah. man, it's just That's funny. It's but just, at the end of the day, dude, it's like if something's just handed to you, like cool, like it's it doesn't mean as much as like you putting in that work yeah. and going through all the stuff and trying to find that home and then getting on almost and. 
You know what I mean? It's more satisfying to me, I think, you know? I, I mean, agree. Dude, I yeah. wouldn't want it any other way. See, like, yeah. I wouldn't want it any other... I've learned so much yeah. going through that. Like, totally. so many things that... Not not that people... Everybody, you know, has their own path. And everybody yeah, that's what I'm sure. saying. This way. is your path. You, yeah. You, you, yeah. You, and had your tri trials and tribulations and not for nothing like here we are and some know. paths are shorter some paths are longer and some paths mean are more meaningful and yeah. not, you know so I, I i think it worked out great you yeah. know you put in the work and you're still working and you come out with this boss fight video which is incredible bro definitely bro thanks guys we it, see you out there bro yeah, yeah. it's crazy we see you out we've there, been John. seeing yeah, you been yeah. seeing you for right sure on. yeah dude it's i think one of the craziest things about all of it is like how I even got on almost like I didn't know Eunice very well or, or Louise or, mm. or Max. I didn't know any of these dudes well. And Eunice and Louise both kind of reached out to me like, Hey, like we want you a part of this. Like, and all my life leading up to that, it would be like, people would reach out and be like, yeah, dude, you're cool. Like we'll flow you some boards, you know? And that's always been cool. Mm -hmm. But like to hear somebody hit me up, like these dudes were just, no, we want you like on this team. We want you a part of this. Like, you know, we believe in you kind of thing. Yeah, and that yeah. was one of those things where I was like, you guys don't even know me. You don't even know me. And I was right. like, I've been a humongous fan of Eunice and Max and Yuri and like almost as a whole. So I think that's a lot of people saw like probably with this video part, it like that was my way of being like, dude, these these dudes believed in me when like mm -hmm. not that nobody else did, but they were like, we don't even know you, but we they want to give you a shot. They want to give you a shot. And yeah. so that meant more to me. It's like it's amazing. That meant more to me than anything else, you yeah, know? So it's yeah. like this video part, it's like, yeah, it's for me, but I wanted to do good for almost, sure, you know? Like yeah, overall, sure. like, all right, I'm going to put on for like these dudes that believed in me. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to yeah. keep going, you know? Totally. Put on for your team, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Sure. It's like, and, and what a team. Yeah. Dude, those, dude. You're, you're, the almost team is stacked, bro. Insane. Yeah. I, had, Straight I was telling you outside and Luis, I was like, dude, you guys' team is insane. <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of the best teams, like actually board brands, I feel like it's the best talent out there dude these guys i mean you any clip of yuri that come like you're just yeah, like huh? what yeah, he's, just, he's just on instagram dude, murking shit it's every insane day. bro yeah i've been making these jokes i'm like dude he's just like mad he can't leave brazil he's like i'm gonna just go in i want out and yeah. i'm just like yeah, he's a big fire dude you know yeah, he has yeah. been this last like i say three months and mm -hmm. even more so than he's i mean obviously he's super talented but like i've been seeing some shit i'm like damn yeah he's letting okay. everybody know how he feels dude yeah he's like i love it man it's beautiful